Hi everyone, I'm Susie Cohen, America's Pharmacist, and instead of talking about drugs and medications that help with the flu and colds, I'd rather talk to you about how to prevent them. And so I'm going to talk to you about a mushroom, a very large one called reishi mushroom, also Ganoderma lucidum, or lingji in Chinese. This is actually half of a mushroom. This one was so big and I couldn't break it. They're like wood. I took it over to Home Depot and the guy videoed him using his saw to cut the mushroom because he thought I was the strangest customer that he had had all year. And so he put that on Facebook and thought that was very funny. But anyway, let me just show you that they do come smaller. These are known for their anti-cancer effects and they are a TH1 stimulant, meaning they stimulate a part of your immune system that helps you uh, fight infection. They reduce tumor necrosis factor alpha that is an inflammatory cytokine they increase uh, your natural killer cells which is good you want your natural killer cells to naturally kill off organisms um, these will also do a number of things to increase interferon gamma that's very good and also to suppress and raise certain interleukins in your body such that collectively speaking powerful anti-inflammatory powerful anti-cancer, well-studied for breast, prostate, colon cancer, and gastric cancer. Um, one of the things they do that I think is really neat is they reduce angiogenesis, which is a big word that basically means uh, blood vessels are feeding cancer. So when you reduce or inhibit or block angiogenesis, you starve off cancer cells. Very good. Also, these induce apoptosis, which means they send a signal out that tells cancer cells, go kill yourself, get out, which is a good thing. You want to induce apoptosis. It tells cancer cells to commit suicide. Now, how do you make this? Because I know you can buy it. You can buy a commercial extract. That's fine. Uh, there's high quality ones. I have no problem with commercial extracts, especially the herbal ones. Those are pretty good. But some of the capsules and tablets are standardized to polysaccharides or to triterpenes, which are just two ingredients that you would find in this big giant mushroom. Well, you can do that, but you're kind of turning your natural herb into a drug. I really like whole herbs. I want all of the benefits from this beauty in one drink. So I make a tea and what I do is I use a slow cooker and I just literally fill it with water. I don't know if you can see it. I filled it before I started taping. I put the mushroom in there. That's it. That is so simple. Now it tastes pretty nasty. It's bitter, but it's not undrinkable. I stick vanilla in there just for a little bit of flavor. You can put honey in it when it's all done. But the key here is a slow extraction. And by that I mean, plug in your slow cooker, put it on low, and leave it there for an entire day. And when you're done, you will have this colorful liquid. You're gonna strain off the mushroom, obviously. And you're gonna have this liquid. And this is what you drink. And you can drink however much you want or whatever your doctor thinks is right for you. But for me, I drink a shot glass of it three times a day. I, I'm pretty healthy, so you know, I wouldn't take more than that. But it is an, a potent adrenal adaptogen. It will stimulate your adrenal glands to work better. And it'll also stimulate the production of thyroxin, which is the thyroid hormone that your thyroid gland makes. So the plant of immortality. Drink up. I'll see you next time.